Okay guys, welcome back to our channel. It's going to be a really laid back and casual vlog style. Um, it's just our little prediction of what we think the baby will be. So first, let's show you what day it yeah. is today. So today, she just told me happy birthday because it is my birthday. It's officially his birthday. It's midnight. Which is what we've been working so hard to bring the baby on. So today's date is July 14th. I'm not sure if you can see it. Baby does come today then we have a theory. So, we're gonna give you our theories based what we're gonna have. Um, so you go first on what you think. If we have a baby today, which is July 14th, so, his birthday. So if we have a baby today, I have a strong feeling it's gonna be Luis Terejo III. Um, just, I don't know if something adds up that if it comes today, that later on today, it'll be a boy. It'll be our first and First of all, on our little boy. So, if it comes on the 14th. Now, we have another theory. If it comes on the 16th, which is in two days, I think it's a Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Um, we think the baby is going to be a girl. And we say this because there is a full moon that night. We figured, once we found that out, we were like, if it's if it happens on Tuesday, we just feel like it was fate that it's going to be a girl. Like, that was a sign. So, it just was so crazy that there's even a full moon at that time. But, that was just our little theory and what we think. Um, right now, what do you think, babe? Like, what do you really feel like it is? We talked about this when we went on vacation. Honestly, I don't have a feeling of what it is. Like, I, I feel like... I, at this point, I feel like my heart, every time I read something quoted by somebody for a girl or or a girl thing that's just so empowering for a little girl, like, I just, my heart gets tugged so hard. So I have a feeling we might be having a little girl. And I almost kind of want a little girl because of how much emotion I, I, I feel when it comes to all these things. So I originally, like, when we first got pregnant, had a dream that we were having a girl and it was the most beautiful little girl in my arms um it was like crazy so from then on i just thought it was a girl but i think i would say halfway through when we went to our sec not second um the ultrasound what would you say like halfway through yeah it was halfway through um i was like i think it might be a boy i don't know just something about the face not that you could really see the face very well but i was just like for a second, I doubted that it was even a girl. I was like, I think it's a boy. Um, and then based on like how the ultrasound tech lady was acting, I feel like it kind of also made me feel like it was a boy. I don't know. Just those vibes I was getting. Not that she said anything, but... Yeah, she didn't. I just felt those vibes. But recently, again, I changed my mind. I just feel like I'm going to go with my gut instinct and say that it was a girl because I just feel like that was my gut instinct from the beginning and I had a dream about it and it just I could picture her face and it was the most beautiful like thing ever so I just feel like that was it and then when we picked the name for her I just feel like we both were like right away that was like the name so that's pretty much our predictions and what we think so if the baby comes today later on and makes its appearance we think it will be a boy if it comes later on i think it'll be a girl and if it comes after the 16th we're still excited and yeah we don't know we really don't have predictions after that this is just our good feeling what we feel it can be yeah we really don't know but we're just you know we're taking a guess and i think that's what's exciting about not knowing the gender of our baby is it really is going to be like so emotional and raw for us not that it isn't for everyone else um because you're meeting your baby for the first time yeah, it sure. obviously is but it's just like another element to add like it's christmas morning like finding out the gender or finding out what the surprise is that you've been holding on to for 10 months now and it's not even a surprise that we've been holding because we really haven't been like keeping it from nobody it's just no like it's a surprise just, that we just don't know like i have it it's here but we just don't even know what it is you know yeah, like we've been like, holding on to this like those mystery surprise, all these you know? kids are loving yeah, it's like our own little um, mystery box. Hello, hello, yeah. little circle things. Or yeah. What was those other things that people were doing? Hatchimals or something Hatchimals. back in the day? 
Or Pikachu's, not Pikachu, po no, Pokemon. Tam Tamagotchi's. Tamagotchi's, what the heck is that? <laughs> he never remembers those. I don't even know what that is. Those little eggs that you like, don't know what you're getting. And then, Shh, yeah. Our camera's saying we're too loud. Oh, okay, so we're going to wrap up this video. I got to go eat some pineapple because I'm hungry from dancing. And we're going to head to sleep because we got to wake up early for church. We're not going to sleep. What? We'll see. But, all right, thank you guys for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.